and welcome to my channel, Fort Sumter Miniatures. My name is Ray Phillips, and I'm a gamer, miniature painter, modeler, and sculptor. My entry into gaming started in the 70s when my father bought me an Avalon Hill board game, and it was further nurtured when I attended the University of Southern Mississippi. My painting started in the early 80s with minifigs Napoleonics. And after a stint in the Army, I got involved with HMGS and started running conventions for HMGS South. In that time, I have painted figures as small as 3 millimeters and as large as 28 millimeters, and won a few painting competitions along the way. When HMGS South still had a newsletter, I used to contribute an article on weapons that made a difference. I hope to do a few of those in this channel and if there's any interest. Anyway, sit back and join me in my adventures. This trailer is to show you a few examples of my painting and some of my gaming. Here we have the Battle of Agincourt using 10mm Pendragon figures. The flags are all hand painted using aluminum foil. Some of the knights and men at arms are using cardboard shields that I cut out by hand, and then all of the shields are hand painted. The figures didn't come mostly with any shields. The uh, mantlets for the crossbowmen is cardboard and hand painted. The figures here are mounted for Days of Nights 2 by Chipko. It's still sort of available. Um, fairly simple system. Um, uses morale mostly. I like it because of the mounting size. All the stands are exactly the same size. And I don't get met, messed up with moving figures around. These German World War II vehicles are all 6mm printed using my Creality 10S using PLA, then primed and hand painted. I'm going to use these for the gaming system Rommel, which is essentially a board game using miniatures. These uh, 10 millimeter American Civil War figures are painted early war, so you mix of uniforms, you'll see some blue and some gray in the Union and even blue in the Confederates. All of these came from my good friend at uh, Good Ground, who does the Cracker Line uh, miniatures. It's a very extensive uh, collection of figures. They paint really well. Again here I've painted the flags using on aluminum foil and then folded over held with white glue. It allows you to manipulate the flags and make them look really wavy, whereas paper doesn't have a lot of give after you've glued it. The aluminum foil still has some give. Here we have some of my uh, plastic 28mm uh, US Rangers for almost any of the different skirmish World War II games. I don't particularly play any, I painted them because I found them interesting and that's 
pretty much how I get into painting most figures, is I find something interesting and then I paint it. Last but not least is a collection of Battletech figures, which are a mixture of lead and uh, printed figures using my Creality 10S. I really like the scale of these, and while I'm also heavily into naval, this kind of gives me a naval feel, you know, this big, running these big mechs. While I have a regular job, I'm a licensed surveyor for a city in Florida. Um, I do take commissions, but mostly it's a commission if I'm interested, and currently I do a good bit of work for my friend uh, Good Ground painting his line of 10mm uh, Civil War figures for people. Don't make much money at it, but that's really not the point. It means I love painting and I'm not out spending money on beer and getting in trouble. I hope you enjoyed this look at some of my figures and I hope that you'll follow along in further um, videos and adventures. Thank you. Don't forget to mash like or subscribe and hit the bell button to uh, get notifications for the next video. Thank you and goodbye.